Only two changes. First, just make the encasement a defense debuff. That way they can do one at range. Second, swap the boxing glove with Ram. All the other trollers, their two pop moves have a control effect. Boxing glove doesn't. Ram, though, acts like psychic tendrils or sticky bomb where it kind of pops up yeah, the enemy and hits three around. times. You it's could use the perfect pop for that. You could use the train instead because the, the Ram is more DPS. I mean, I guess you could use either one, but the train yeah, but would be still, cool because nobody uses it. Those two changes, and then you got range pot, recharge, range debuff. You put a shield on, you put word of power on, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. It's trolling is fixed. Just two changes they have to make. That's all. They should put the dots back on Snap Trap, too. That, too. It's going to work that back in there. Jeez. <laughs> that, too. Yeah, all, while all this is going on, they nerf electricity and fire. And oh, electricity all of this is okay, going on. needs to be nerfed. I can't believe they nerfed fire <laughs> so much. Ugh. Oh, the fi fire was... You know that was again. That was again the whole community complaining because oh, I'm this power set and this power set is beat in mine. So then, like, fire is not one of the top contenders anymore. You know, like when I was DPSing and there was a fire DPS in the room, sometimes I was like, oh, maybe I'm gonna have to play a little harder. But I'm like, fire. It, it was the same thing with the circle stacking. It's like you got two choices. You're getting tired of like two infernos over each other, so you can either complain that you're dying because you stand in it or move. They complained because they were dying and got it nerfed because they just want to smash a melee button and spam Everybody stuff just and not move out of the way. And they could just learn to use their power set. Like, I know this dude who's <laughs> yeah. Ice, and he's, like, one of the best DPSs I know. And, like, Ice was always that underrated power, but he was always beating everybody with Ice because he just knew how to use his power. You know, like, all powers have really good potential if you know how to use them to a certain extent. But some powers are just lost, like Earth. Earth is not a good power. It depends. It has to rely on Jackhammer, I think, to do its major damage. Yeah, it's, you it's have to have a really good jackhammer. controller. Mm -hmm. well, let's be honest. A lot of it is how much you can clip on a power. See, nobody's going to be melee and then T5 at the beginning. You know what I mean? Everyone's going to be ranged. Yeah, it's it's you know? the return of fire, ice, nature, and lightning. Well, I can hear like, all the healer. I can hear people... That are so used to doing melee DPS, they go down every ten seconds, and they're going to be throwing hate toward the healers. Oh, oh it's, man, these healers suck! I can hear it now. Get a rifle. I, Get yeah, a bow. No one's going to no one's going to be up there with their tap tap holes in their one. Oh, I, I'm fine. I've got my two bows. I'm way ahead of you on that one. Thank God I'm a healer. Stand my ass <laughs> in the back. Yeah, I'm either gonna put, I'm either gonna turn Shockula into a uh, quantum DPS or go full healing with my you know, tier you've five. Got a good, you've got a good power though for range. Yeah, well for AOE well, and range, yeah. Yeah, you're in good shape. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. All right, so another thing I want to bring up in terms of patch notes is uh, sorcery is kind of getting a little bit of a nerf PVP side. Uh, Watchers will not heal. <laughs> Anymore, if you're in the damage roll. Yeah, that should have happened from the get -go. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Though most DPSs would, you know, in PvP would summon their healer, switch to DPS roll. There you go. You got a heal. You got a little healy thing, you know. Right. But uh, you know, that's finally getting addressed. Well, you uh, see, the only other thing they need to address though is, you know, sorcery has one other shortcoming in DPS. They can use that sixty percent. DPS hand mod from home turf, but why is it on a healing move if you want a DPS? Their 60% damage buff is from a group heal. Makes no sense. What's, they, they, what's they need the move? That. I think Invocation Bloom, of renewal. Bloom is Invocation like that too for nature. It isn't very good. Yeah, they, they need to address that in the updates when they get to nature and sorcery. That's a little strange. A heal move should not be your main DPS um, 60 buff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's strange. Definitely. You got that right. I don't know what's up with that. And, and for some reason, correct me if I'm wrong, but Escalating Might wasn't working at all with Circle until this Yeah, update, the Circle right? of Destruction. Because it wasn't yeah, that now works. as a harmful power. Uh, escalating Might now works with that from Patch Notes. Yeah. Yeah, that they needed that. Um, Let's see... 
Fortress 2, the chamber can be destroyed now. Sorry. I'd... Yeah, that, <laughs> I that just that in. threw that in there. The... A lot more fail groups coming up. Yep. Oh, it's about time, though. That was broken for way too long. Yeah. It really was. Um, uh, harmful shape-shifting abilities, they, they worked in a fix for that. Uh, instead oh, I'm of shape... a huge fan of that. Huge fan of that. <laughs> oh, of, the, of that getting fixed or whatever, basically? Mm-hmm. Um, basically, yeah. now... What happens is they don't shape shift, but now they have a grounding effect and a, a silence. Basically, they can't use moves anymore until they break out of it, or until the duration expires. I, I actually see that as a major, like it, it was a fix that needed to happen, but that's really a major nerf. Because I don't know how many times I'd be PvP in the open world, they'd hit me with like the dog change or the horrific visage from mental, I'd break out and I'd still have that three to four second window where I've got no moves. Right. They can focus me. Now it's going to be like, bam, I broke out. My moves aren't grayed out no more. You're going to lose that three to four second focus fire window. That's going to be a huge hit to it. Those are like but such I, cheap tactics too, especially like, yeah, I think that was the problem. Two sword yeah, three the guys in like a two V two, you know, they're both dogging you, you know, that's annoying as hell. You never get a chance to throw a move. It's like an auto loss. Now it's going to be a little more balanced. It, it was yeah, mainly that's... the lag that did it, but it was a necessary fix. Well, on, one thing that you can, that you know you give it you're given a chance to is that you can actually block now with that. So <clears throat> nice. You know, and let, yeah, because that's how you would break out of it. You have to block. So you know, being in a dog form or the the ghost form, you wouldn't be able to block. But now that that doesn't happen, you you would be able to block. So. Speaking of blocking, I like how they were adjusting the um, windows for block breakers because it was way too forgiving before. Oh, yeah. that I was about yeah. to get Definitely. to that. Um, you know, uh, that was actually one of the things I hated. Like, I would be playing Nightwing and Legends, and I would use my block breaker, and then I would block, and then I'm countered. Exactly. After, you know, he interrupts me. It's like, That always heck? happens to me. That's why PvP is so frustrating for me. I, yeah. I don't even play it. Well, you know, <laughs> think about it, though. I'm on PC side, and that was happening to me. That's crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, it, it gets worse on PS3. Because you'll be swinging away, you'll be meleeing them, and they'll block break you. And you'll be like, what the hell is going on here? You know, I'm swinging away over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely needed fixes. What they do, just slow it down like an extra second, or. Uh, it's been it, it's a small window. Yeah. Yeah, it's a smaller window now. I see. Uh, Steel got a nerf in this, too. Yay. <laughs> oh, thank God! His uh pulse hammer, which is where he like raises the hammer and the yeah. electricity comes out, that's yeah. a lot more susceptible to control effects now. They need to tone the damage down. But you can well, also break out of it a lot easier now too. Like if it stuns you, no longer are you gonna like have a huge ass struggle to get out of it. Now it's like you break out, you can roll away. What is Steel, that move that Steel has that it, he, like, puts that little shell around him or something? That's that a shield. Sh- yeah, the that shield. is annoying. The fact that he can use it even if you knock him down, it's usable while controlled at any time. And it seems yeah. like that makes spam- it hard to kill. It's spammable, it seems, because I was fighting just uh, yesterday. I was fighting, uh, I was Amon Sur taking on Steel, and I couldn't even damage the guy. Well, he's, he, here's my thought on it. It's a shield that goes around him, but it's not like encasing him like other people's shields. I, f- I feel it should work more like, like like the weapon mod, where it negates maybe 50 or 75% of the damage coming in. But since it's not a full enclosing shield, I think for steel, maybe, you know, it yeah. shouldn't stop all damage for the way it's It's just working. Like, a de- like a defense buff. Yeah. More of a defense buff than a shield. That, that would be better for him, I think. Another thing I thought was interesting is they're actually finally giving the glide and zipline abilities to Joker, Bane, and Two Face. I thought that was really unique because it makes sense. Like, why would Joker have a grappling line? Why would Bane have a grappling line? You know, why would it didn't make sense? I think it's just more for balancing than anything. I don't know. I thought I thought that was just kind of like a cool thing, a cool aspect. I think they but... should not let you fly in Legends. <laughs> So someone's getting tired of John Stewart and the rifle. Man, I got John Stewart in that friggin' bubble flying <laughs> yeah. above me. Get out of my lobby. Get out of here. I like the Joker when everyone was flying just so high in the air. Joker <laughs> flying up there with his dual pistols. <laughs> yeah, everyone acts bad. I hate, I hate those people. Bizarro. I I used to be one of those people. The Joker flying. 
you know, I really don't have a problem with Bizarro flying, but like John Stewart and Joker flying, I don't know, they they get annoying because <laughs> the Joker will be just going full auto on you, and you don't even know it, and you're just trying to block, you know, somebody else, and you, uh, it's just a mess. Okay, what's worse, Joker doing full auto or Hal Jordan sending jet after jet on you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a good one. Well, didn't decision, you say decision. they fixed the... I guess I'm going with the jet. Okay. Didn't they fix the jet for Hal Jordan? Didn't they tone it down or something? A little that, bit. That was it. It, it. It's dodgeable, at least, though. Yeah. Um, well, this update is also bringing in the uh, no no more pets in arenas, really. you can't. The only thing you can bring in pet-wise is accomplices and henchmen now. Everything else is getting completely... Uh, taken out. That was that was a needed improvement. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of people quit PvP in because of that, though. They need to take. Well, that I mean, if they seriously needed the snowman trinket or something to win their fights, if they honestly needed five or six That's pets sad. while they sat there, mm-hmm. then they should practice more PvP. I'm not saying it's sad, but the if the snowman pets are ready was to just fight for feet. you. You should learn to fight better yourself and not use a crutch. Exactly. But <laughs> I mean, that's. That that will probably even help, you know, PVPers that would have to rely on those to maybe get better. Yeah. But here's an idea, and I got this from another MMO that I play. They don't allow that kind of trinket transformation in their PVP, but what they do have is a little instance where you can use those trinkets to fight each other, and you get achievements. You don't get marks, but you get achievements for winning a certain amount of those, like when you're using those trinkets. Like you could have a special interest instance where somebody wants to be the snowman against the whatever else, and it would you wouldn't win any marks for it. It would just be like a fun thing. You know what I mean? Just for, you know, just have some fun, you know? Well, yeah. I'm sure they're going to do that with arranged matchmaking, you know, allow, allowing trinkets in those matches. Well... But. The only the only thing with this change is I see a lot more accomplices coming out of it because, you know, the henchmen are good. They do some damage, but without, like, the summer event pets and stuff, a lot of people are going to be running accomplice, accomplices just for the added distractions and they get healed and um, yeah, power the, back from them. It's the going to be in the ultimate one. Me. You know, it's let the your accomplice. Out. I don't even care. You could shake off the henchmen. They don't even bother you. But the accomplice, you almost have somebody dead. <laughs> and then their accomplice gives yeah. them a heal. And you're like, oh, you're like, come on. The, the, the accomplice is going to be seen a lot more. That and supply drops. Yeah, that's going but to be I mean, a lot more common. I don't really and have a never problem with that because it's fresh. You know, it just came out. Yeah. But they should I, have I think so, different I lobbies, think those... like kind of like Call of Duty. How they have a core and a hardcore. You know what I mean? Like if you want to play yeah. Pokemon, you could go in one room. And if you want a PvP, you could go on the other one. All right. I don't know. They could do something like that. I don't know. Well, I hope Are, they don't. See, I like the henchmen, the accomplice. It's kind of fun. I hope they don't try to take all the fun out of the game just to balance everything because the because of the competitive nature of it. Yeah, that's, well, why, I, they, you that's know. why two separate things, I would think. Right. You know, you could still go in there and have a good time and right. ask with your snowman trinket and your 13 pets. Exactly. Have a special, that's what I was talking about earlier. Have like a little instance just for that, you know. Well, I feel that, you know, that, that nerf to um, accomplices and henchmen are going to, it's going to maybe fix things. Because, I mean, think about it. A lot of people were complaining that, like, you know, well, if they have less damage, they're going to, less damage in health, they're going to be shit in PvE. And I'm like, well, think about it. The, most, of, most of the AI is too dumb to even move away from a one-hit move. Like... <laughs> Right. You see, you see an accomplice like inter- try and interrupt a boss, and then they do their one hit move. And there goes your accomplice. Yep. Like you know, <laughs> that doesn't change anything. <laughs> right. See, that's another thing I hate too. I hate when something gets nerfed for PvP reasons, and then you suffer in PvE for. It. I mean, well, you're no. not really suffering from your accomplice, but he's your accomplice is awesome. But they don't do that. I, let's not even. <laughs> yeah, let's not go. Let's there. not go there again. Yeah. But um. <laughs> oh, it's going to be worse because all that's going to happen, like I said, it's going to be accom- accomplice everywhere, supply drop, and they're forgetting about stuff like gadgets. Like, not to hate on my own power, but yeah, you got rid of the deep sea guy from the summer content. 
you got the suppressor turret on you doing the crowd control for me. You got my battle drone giving my it's whole crazy. team power and blasting you. Yeah. You've got my accomplice out giving me health and power. Give me a break. Hitting you, and I'm spamming from the back. Yeah. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's going to be what's next. They're going to be, oh, they're going to have a whole new hate trip on gadgets and maybe sorcery with grand summoning if someone goes that route. Or oh. mental with the five ghosts. God, you know, I ran into a room <laughs> the one time with Grand Summoning and the Ghosts. Yeah, all in the that, first that's three not fun. And henchmen. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it not the end. It was a raid group in a Batman in a Batcave. Two v two turned into a raid group. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, unfortunately. See, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, right there. I almost wanted to just leave the room. I was like, <laughs> really? No, that, that that's what I. We're fifteen next... seconds into the match, and there's sixteen people on your team. That, that's what I imagine the next forum posts are going to be for update 26. You need to restrict certain power-specific pets. Like no ghosts or grand summoning, no suppressor turret. I think they're. I think the community is going to go after those next. I guess it is their supercharge, though, so... It, yeah. It's kind of a weak supercharge, too, but... Yeah, like, it's useless in PvE. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, when you think about it, that... I, I wouldn't even complain about it if you think about it then, because if it's useless in PvE, there's a lot of MMOs where, you know, powers are well, useless PvE-wise or useless PvP. So, I mean, like, it's a supercharge. It's really only useful in PvP. I say it's fine the way it is. Well, then. I want to get it nerfed in PvP so then it's even worse in PvE, because that's what all the <laughs> PvP players... They better not my touch powers. my battle drone. <laughs> I'm just saying, I never see those things when I'm running a raid, so... No, you never, you never see a sorcery guy bust it, out of granite summoning. You exactly. never see a battle drone? No, I've never oh, seen... Oh, I, I see battle drones all the time. Oh, yeah. I usually don't see them, that, but that, I notice that, all the tickets. That, that's them. one of the saving graces of gadgets. You run the extended supercharge, that gives you just enough that you always have two words of power, and if it's full, you can bust out a battle drone and still have two words sitting there for an extra pot tick. It's great in PvE if you set it up right. Yeah, that is a killer setup. Yeah, I, ju I just run like defib, um, sticky bomb, gauze grenade, a shield, and then the two superchargers, and it works very well. Yeah, the shield. I I hate when trolls don't have a shield on. Like when I'm trolling, I feel like it's my job to go pick people up. Right. Exactly. Because I, I always have a shield, and I hate when the troll he has a DPS move on when he should. I, I use hard light personally. You probably hate me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 But, this guy uh, looks real good too. Got anything it dropped else from the, the from you? That's why I liked it. You got anything else yeah. from the update notes? Um. Oh, I have something. Shoot, go. I, I I think we all owe the PvP community a debt of gratitude for getting us those salvage kits. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh no. no. You thought I'd forget. Thanks, PvP community. Yeah, we, we yes. are. Because you know, apparently because, it's all they're doing. Because, Kaiser, you, you do because realize that nobody else one. thought of that, like, maybe when R&D was first interest, uh, introduced to the game. Like, what a concept. You mean a salvage, uh, uh, you know, a salvage mod? You know, that to get, you know, oh, wow, like, no other MMO has that. And the PvP guys are going to say that they're the ones that got that in there. Really? We owe them a debt of gratitude it. there. It's just yeah. in every other MMO that I've ever played. <laughs> wow. The utter gall of somebody to sit there and say, well, thank you. We, we're the ones that will take credit. For are are you talking about game. someone specific there or just in general? Give me a break. <laughs> Let's not even go there. Let's well, we already that. went there, so oh well. Too late. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> All right. So you can, tell, uh, you can tell some players has never played any other MMOs, you know. So. <laughs> um. Oh, here's one. Uh, if you get a weapon drop, it'll tell you if you can equip it or not. Just small things like that. Cool. Uh. Oh yeah. Um. When you're doing PvP, you have to win to get awarded. Now, Blech. loss loss gives you nothing. Oh, there goes there goes my marks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only have one issue with that, and the, I'm sure it happens on the hero side too. But you know, we use if you pug it all in PvP over on the villain side, you'll get 
you and a couple friends, and then there'll be that one or two heroes there from Suicide Squad. You got the and Amanda they'll sit Waller. In the face Amanda and not Waller even try up. and fight just to make sure the heroes win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, why should we be punished because they're doing this kind of attack? Now, I'm sure it happens on the hero sides. Villains just throw to fight to piss the heroes off. I don't know why they do that. I want to win. I don't care whose team I'm in. I want to win. They, they I want to get to right. dark. About that, you know? That's, that, why, that has to be that's a, all I care about is to win. That's why ranked exactly. matchmaking was introduced. Well, that happened so, to us the other night, didn't it? When we got in there and we saw Amanda Waller pop up, Task Force X, and all that stuff. And then that hero said, you guys, I hope you guys don't suck. Or what? Because he was so worried about us, like, not trying or something. Yeah, we won that fight. Yeah, we won the fight. We destroyed that fight. Yeah. And the sad part is we were using goof-off characters. I had our kilos and steels come after me and Huntress beat them around. Well, all of my, <laughs> all of my legends are goof-off characters, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, one more thing from it is uh, dual pistols, hand blasters, and rifle are getting a little bit of a change. Yeah, rifle like getting dual... nerfed a little. Nah, dual pistol is getting a little bit of a buff because they have an, an additional tick right. on one of their shots. Um, right. Hand blasters getting a, a buff as well. I guess they're making uh, it smoother, the transitions. Um, I think so because yeah. hand blaster is kind of hard to use, really. Yeah. They, they got they so many moves and a lot of uh, combos to remember. It, it's definitely not. It, it's more of a master's weapon, kind of. It's definitely not something you just casually pick up and you're good with it. Yeah, like um, like Dr. Fate and Felix Faust, they're really good if you know how to play hand blasters. Like, really good. <laughs> Played as Dr. Fate the other night, and I was destroyed, absolutely destroyed with them. <laughs> I, I'm really thinking about learning how to use them. They're good if you know. No, I mean just hand blasters in general. Oh yeah, yeah. They're yeah. kind of they're kind of that yeah, underdog weapon. Full. That's how you use them. But isn't rifle mortar uh, <laughs> the mortar for the rifle splitting the damage now? Yeah, no. that's a nerf. But from from what I read though, isn't it? I thought it said splitting like instead of one damage number, you get three ticks. Like oh each yeah, you're gonna oh, yeah, get yeah. a three hit counter. Or so, so, yeah, so yeah, okay. That's technically a buff then because uh, yeah, your it's counter's gonna rise to faster. So it'll raise yep. your yeah your. Your buff, will, your percentage buff will stay longer, and it, it'll have three. It'll have two extra chances to crit. Right. Or crit Not to general. mention you can you could regen power faster that way now too. Yes. True. Okay. So it's a buff. Whew. Um, All right. <laughs> and one of in one of the updates that came um, after the PC test was released, uh, that blo- that bug that would um, have people unable to block is getting fixed. Have you ever had that happen? Where uh, your block just doesn't work. Yeah, it used to happen like in Fortress Two all the time. Mm-hmm. That's getting uh, fixed. You have to relog. Uh, the the only bug I want fixed is the one where if you go down sometimes and someone picks you up, you can only roll and do stuff until you go into the oh, menu yeah. and come back out. That's mm-hmm. the one I want fixed. That's annoying. Yeah, that's been in there too long. I would like somebody to have a cog over their head if they die in Prime too. That too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, hopefully that's get that's gets fixed in a in a PC oh, test. Oh, speaking of there. Prime, don't Tier Fours have award boxes now, or did I mishear that? They do, they do. Although I heard Prime's was acting up, wasn't it? Dropping off the very first Avatar you killed, yeah. not even having to finish it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm sure they'll get that worked out. But um, I think that's about it in terms of update twenty five notes. Okay. All right, well, we're going to take a short break, uh, take a couple-minute break. Uh, you're listening to the DCO Project. Launch sequence activated. You're listening to the DCO Project podcast with your hosts, The Count, Glenn, Jay, and Kaiser. Subscribe to us on iTunes and like our Facebook page. Now, back to the show. Oh, yeah, that feels good. That feels real good. All right, and we're back. Uh, you're listening to the uh, DCO Project podcast. Uh, now we're going to uh, talk about some episode two of Friday Night Legends. What would you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> that's why you guys are mean. That's, not a good that's <laughs> going to get us another mean comment, sir. That's why I did it. I, 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 I like Everybody the hate. Everybody shouldn't have laughed. Bring the, the hate. <laughs> Kaiser, 
<laughs> I actually liked episode two. I thought oh, it was all right. It was decent. Yeah. It, we had, well, for one, it, they actually queued up and, and sure. It wasn't the most skilled matches going on. I mean, they gave a little bit of advice though, you know? It, they gave, it, it, yeah. It, they they were, kind of showed they were more, sharing, because uh, I mean, you got to think Friday night legends is also not just for the people that have been playing, but maybe the people that don't play the game yet, maybe want to start playing the game. They're kind of seeing what it's all about. So you actually got to see more like an in-depth match, you know, even though, yeah. even though their setup was all wrong with the one healer, <laughs> like you were saying, you know, I mean, I, I at least like that he would talk about how he would, you know, set up usual matches and even like share some about his loadout and such. Yeah. Everything wasn't top secret. He was more. Yeah. Open. I think if you're going to be on something like that, like at least, Tell them what you're using. Explain why you use it. You know why, what setup you're running, and why you're running the setup. You know exactly. So yeah, in, in that regard, it was a much better episode. So definitely. Yeah, I guess next week they have another PC uh, league, um, Squad Eleven, or something like that. Uh, I think it was Squad Eleven. Yeah, you might. I, I'm not familiar with them. You probably know who they are, though, Glenn. I've seen them around, but I don't. I think they're a hero league. So. Oh yeah. Well, at least they had a villains league, most wanted. So, yeah. So yeah. maybe they'll do villain hero, villain hero. Well, I saw the uh, orbit. Orbit uh, sent maps a message wanting to be on the show, but that would probably be more PVE based. I don't know. But they're from your, you know, that's the European server, so. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, I, I'll still watch it. I mean, I'll watch the Friday Night Legends. You know, it's an hour of my time, you know. Oh, you know, I think it's interesting, though. Yeah, it uh, is kind of interesting. It's good that they're trying to do something interacting with the community like that. It really it really is a good thing. I'm, I'm sure some people look forward to it um, every Friday, you know. I thought it was cool how he wiped out like eight. Because uh, Yin's is like in God mode. Or whoever's controlling it. And didn't he have that like consumable that like knocked out like eight heroes in one shot? <laughs> it, it not it, it was um it didn't matter what faction, it killed them all no matter what they Oh were. it killed oh, okay. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was I like, do that again, do that again. <laughs> that was kinda cool. But other than that, I don't really know what else to say about it. Yeah, there was <laughs> It's just kind of like, you know, it's a show. It We like it. We don't like it. I'm not really sure what else we can say about it, you know? Oh, it, it is I, good. It is nice to watch, though. You know, it's something different. It was funny how the yeah. the B team came in and just stomped them, though. How <laughs> mad would you be if that was a little embarrassing. just came in and, and beat your ass? Yeah, I yeah. think there's going to be some team swaps going on. <laughs> yeah, Jen said that himself. He was like, I think there's going to be a little... uh league management after this <laughs> well he he uh hinted toward the league halls too about yeah, the inner did. sanctum thing so i don't know exactly what that's about but i think he he said that there was going to be like some kind of like league um like mainframe and then you can like set up permissions and such like you're you've maybe maybe you can set like an a team b team of your pvp matches so when you mm -hmm. queue up, it'll automatically queue those guys up that are, is on your, like, A team. You can predetermine, like, a team. Kind of yeah, like you can your gear, you know. I don't know. I'm just speculating, but I think that'd be a pretty cool. You know, instead of having everybody queue up for it, just, like, tell everyone, okay, I'm queuing up the A team. Get ready to go in, you know, and they automatically, the instance automatically pops for them. That'd be kind of a cool thing to put in, but and yeah, yep. somebody like me, I'm Elon Gates or something. You cue me in <laughs> with the guys. Well, of course, you'd have to have some sort of communication. You know, you can't just do it. And, you know, say okay. Well, Whoops. well, one one thing I think is painfully obvious is coming, like we got with um, home turf and the one v one lair battle. If PvP is going to affect it, I think it's safe to assume we're going to have. A league versus league setup where you can fight in each other's league halls, like yeah. one league can invade the other league's hall, and that'd be just awesome. all that battle. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm at least pretty sure third. that they're going to do that because it would it would only make sense. Definitely, like a five on five league versus league. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be- in a lair battle. Oh yeah. Yeah. That- That'd make so much sense if they did that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. You know. Oh, that would be cool. They even said that they wanted to do, you know, like PvP with the league halls. So. Speaking of layer battles, if somebody leaves before the first match is over, <laughs> I should get a win. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's not fun to just go into a room and have some people leave over and over and over. Yeah, I guess it's an easy win, but you know, like. Hell. It's interesting that you say that again. Hey, I'm not going <laughs> to fight you. You <laughs> troll, I'm a healer. Oh, Damn, no. you're, you're complaining about the tanks right that there. leave. <laughs> and yet you're complaining about the tanks that leave. Uh. Irony at its best. Well, you know what? <laughs> they, there were so many tanks and they just kept leaving and leaving and leaving. And like it was like five, six matches in a row and I just... I just yeah. needed like two more marks. Yeah, he did it out of he did it out of frustration, Kaiser. Because come on, it would have been a fair fight. All I was going to do was put out a suppressor, a battle drone, three henchmen, the deep sea trinket. I know. It was, no, that's all I was going to do. It's a fair fight. <laughs> I just have the to cut up. Oh man, I hate trolls. You guys <laughs> kill me. Oh. <laughs> I should have just switched to DPS. No, I just leave. I'm gone. See a troll? <laughs> Thanks for terrible for me. You know? I mean, a couple times I've gone in, and I mean, a couple of dudes have beat me. I've beat a couple of them, but, like, they're such long fights. You know, I don't do much damage, but I could heal myself. It's like, oh, my God. It's terrible. I don't want to fight a healer either. I don't want to be in there for five rounds and draw five rounds and get absolutely nothing. Like, it's just annoying. Something should come into account, then whoever has more damage out or something, I don't know what I mean. Someone needs to get the win. Who knows? Right. But they should do something about that, leaving in the first round stuff. Speaking of PvP PvP battles, so I, I think they need to look a little bit at the um, rock, paper, scissors system again. Just a little bit. Well, the, the only thing that irritates me as a troller is, you know, if a tank hits me... I lose all my pot of my power over time, and I lose. Ah, I get this I debuff this me. <laughs> If a healer hits a tank, the tank loses all his shields. The tank, a fire tank, can't even heal himself. <sighs> right. So why, when I debuff a healer, do they only lose part of their healing, and they can still heal themselves? I should negate all their healing. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's so shit said, not. Jeez, yeah, I mean, it's only fair. Jeez. They take away all my power over time. Kaiser, why don't we just so what you're it saying... you come in and you automatically get your marks? <laughs> so, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna be like, so what? What you're saying is, is that a healer should absolutely have no chance of combat. No, my, my alternate is you just sit down and is, take the should... loss like a. <laughs> my alternate. That's is... what you're saying. Kaiser's what, not what big I on really competition. Want, what I really want is. Fire has greatly reduced fun. healing, but it can still heal. And controllers have greatly reduced power over time, but that's still, it's my power. I should still keep a little bit of it. Yeah. There, there should be a there, balance. That's the compromise. There's the that's compromise. The, when you debuff me, though, you, you put my healing debuff on me, and then you put a defense debuff on me, and then you already have a buff against me. And then you me, pop so a then trinket, you just, it's all gone. Then you just melt. But then you could just put it right back on. Yep. Mm. Yeah, you know I pop. I want. I want. I want, I, 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 right I want on. a one-sided fist fight. Damn it! <laughs> it's the same. It's the same thing with healers and tank though. You Plus, know, I was... healer, you know, debuffs me. I lose my health buff. I lose my my healing powers, and they mm. can just go to town on me. Right. Not to mention, I was I was gonna say like you know controllers don't have that damage debuff from being in their role already, and healers are already squishy. So <laughs> they need to be more squishy. Damn it. <laughs> terrible because like my trinket I fought all healers so I off. fought healers in PvP all the time and they go down pretty quickly <laughs> unless they have a, a uh, another I, I, I'm just them. messing around though it's it's just funny to me how how that system works like we all lose our powers and one class in particular just doesn't well, you don't lose all your powers though you could still use them. like the only powers I Fire have does. heal myself. You know, my my powers don't do any damage to you. That's the only thing they're good for is healing me. True. Except when Swarm is overpowered and I just go into Australia and I could kill all eight people on the node by myself. But 
<laughs> that was a fun well, time. I remember that, too. I remember saying something about that. They should have kept it like that. I was able to kill people. Uh, now, 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 you see, who's, who's looking for one-sided fist fight? <laughs> hey, I would go up against any <laughs> troll. Me and my swarm and a troll? Psh, get out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Can you go to normal strike swarm? Just block it out. It'll be good. You die, man. You just die. I think you're only something. They need to buff swarm back up. They do. <laughs> Fix my loadout bar. I don't like it when it's blacked out when I get knocked down. <laughs> it lags too much. By the time I'm back up on my feet, I still can't use my powers because my loadout bar is gone. You heard I'd it. Appreci- I'd appreciate if that got fixed. That'd you, be nice. You heard it right there. I, I want invincibility coming out of an instance to like to actually see what's going on. I'm tired of coming out of something on a loading screen and all I see is red numbers and myself being juggled. To death. Yeah, that would that would be definitely. <laughs> nice I'd like some invincibility till I can actually move my character by myself so I have a chance. Yeah, that's you ever why had I got that super speed. in a layer battle. Oh, God. that's the best. You go in and you're three quarters of the way dead and you didn't even see the guy yet. Ah. Uh. That has not happened to me yet, but I don't no. do layer battles. I, I I would believe it. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, not a good time. Although in lair battles, I wish they would do a little something about the people. That, you know, you sometimes get them people that they realize they can't beat you, so they're going to run around waiting for their pets to recharge oh and God. just keep yeah, they running run while the pets the fight you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, can we do something so they can't just freely run around and let the pets try to kill you while they run for their life for a 20 times. minutes till the all five rounds are over or something? <laughs> They always get away, and then you're chasing them around their house. And, and they always get their health back by the time you catch them. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, God, here we go again. I think their health slowly regenerates, too, a little bit. Yeah. Once they stop getting hit. All they got to do is drop some henchmen behind them and let that distract you while they go to the other side of your lair. Mm-hmm. That's annoying. The cheap tactics people use. I love it. Yeah. They should limit you to that floor or something. That floor, that air, it should have like little little barriers, like something like they have an HQ where you can't go into certain places, mm-hmm. or like you know something kind of like the dual bubble where you shouldn't be able to go past a certain area before something happens. I should automatically oh. win if you try to run away. Oh, in that update for PvP, they didn't fix the um, training dummy giving infinite power in layer battles yet, did they? No. That, that's just that's something that needs to be. Yeah, you walk better. into somebody's house and their sparring target is in the first room. I'm always like, damn it. it and they'll take the fight back to the first room if they have to. Mm-hmm. They'll run right back. They're like, come in my room where I've got infinite power. Especially a if sorcerer power. healer's in there with his watcher and his sparring target laughing. <laughs> like, yeah, it, like, it's really over. Funny. You're not gonna do nothing. Yeah, I definitely need to change my sparring target. Then I need to. I was fighting the dude in the head. Yeah, we started attacking his sparring target. And- Instead of him, because he was over by it. I was like, yeah. this is super annoying. It messes with targeting. It gives you the power. Mm-hmm. Ugh. <laughs> I need to get rid of that. Well, think, think about this, Shock. You you hate like how gadgets can do insane damage. Gadgets with no limit to power spamming clips on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it gets really bad really fast. <laughs> Well, ironically enough, the first lair battle that I won was against a gadget. <laughs> he wasn't very good. But... real good. Man. Some of those guys kicked my ass. Yeah. Those yeah. electricity guys. It... Yeah. Not me, but anyway. <laughs> they kicked <laughs> oh, my ass. Fine. I'm terrible at PvP. I just did it to get the feats. I was That's done. why I do it right now. I it's hate all... every, every second of PvP. Because no one ever goes into a PvP match, well, hardly ever, and you hear them in league chat, oh, they're having a blast. You know, it's never that. It's always like, somebody raging or, oh. I wasn't blocking. I was blocking. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> I, I just think they need to fix a few things and it'll be good. Yeah. They need to it, simplify it. They, they really need to simplify it in my in my eyes. I don't well, like the whole a... mechanic, the blocking and all that, block breaking. I don't like all of that. People need to take damage when they're blocking. Just 
Exactly. Rules, like PVE. Yeah, just roll or dodge or, or move out of the way. This block, I, I don't like the whole blocking thing in the game. I don't like that whole... Yeah, I don't like the immunity stuff. Yeah, that's... They're, they're never going to get rid of that. That's beating a dead horse. It's hugely unfair. Like you, someone is blocking and you block break them. And then you can go crazy on them and they can't do anything about it. <laughs> what, what the well, hell? Well, it has to be unfair. I, I always felt that that came from like a faction imbalance issue because I, I always saw that like you know we're a villain in the open world yeah we be the hero he comes back with eight of his friends and just focus fire you know mm -hmm. that came after all their cries about the focus firing and stuff i kind of see that as like they threw that in there as a tool like yeah you can eight on one gank someone but if they go immunity to immunity they can fight you off and kill all eight of you if you have one yeah person, it's that it's all. to fix zerging it's yeah, because that's in every MMO. Right. I hate that. If I'm like, if I get caught in a situation where there's three people fighting me, I have absolutely no chance in any other game I play. At least in DC, if I can read my opponents at least you know somewhat well, then yeah. I can at least have some kind of chance against them. That's what that's for. Right. And a lot of people don't understand that. Right. Because well, first of all, for, no, first of all, immunity only lasts like one and a half seconds to two seconds, which is your hard stun duration. So if you're fighting 1v1, that blue, that blue immunity is going to be gone by the time you get up, unless you pop a trinket. So that's what a lot of people complain about. Like, you know, I popped my trinket. I can't hit him. He, of course he's going to go crazy on me. Like, the, you're going to go crazy on him regardless if he countered, on, <laughs> countered you. <laughs> he's going to blow all of his crap to try and kill you, especially if he countered you. So there's really no point. It only comes into play when it's a team battle. So I'm not really sure why people are like, oh, man, I hate this blue immunity stuff. It well, fixes I, I think, group combat against that one person. <laughs> I, I think that's the main problem. They like focus firing and zerging like, like four or five on one. And now they can't do it no more, so they're crying about, like, you know, if I get beat, I should be able to go get my boys and crush this guy. But now they can't do it as easily no more. That's yeah, why they hate yeah. this stuff. I think it's like, hey, I got five friends. I should be able to teach him a lesson, focus fire, and crush him in a second. And it just doesn't work like that anymore. Cause because God forbid there's competition in an MMO or any yeah. other game. <laughs> I hate when people have to come back with their friends just because you beat them. And they attacked you first. I'll be collecting a bit. <laughs> And someone will attack me, and I'll kill them. And then they'll come back with a bunch of their people. I'll be like, what the, I didn't do anything. I'm like, you attacked me. I was picking this bit no, up. It's, it's worse when it's a low level. I've had it before where I'll be minding my business. The level 12 will attack me. And I'll just like, okay, you attack me first. I'll just put them down. Next thing I know, here comes five level 30s. Like, really? <laughs> mm -hmm. He attacked me first. I wasn't doing nothing. I was farming in South Gotham and this light guy kept coming over to me and trying to kill me and like I would beat him to within an inch of his life and then I would let him go and just start collecting bits again. And then he comes back with three people and supercharges. I was like, what the hell? I didn't even kill you. I was like, I beat you within an inch of your life and ran away. You know, I was like, I let you live. I had the decency to be a nice guy. And then you're going to come back with three people because I was a nice guy and let you live? Yep. There's the problem right there. Like, that's inconsistent. You're too yeah, nice. You know, I'm sorry <laughs> yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't take... kill him, press circle on him, and stand there teabagging him until he disappeared, you know? like. That'll teach you. Well, <laughs> you I'm going to wrap up the recording right there. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah give a uh, thanks for joining us, Crappy. Uh, we'll have you on again, you know, from time to time, no doubt. Oh. Uh, do you want to tell everyone where they can find your videos or, or what have you? or I don't even know where they could find them, to be honest with you. YouTube? YouTube, <laughs> Crappy Heels. There you go. You heard it right there. What about you, Glenn? Uh, just search Alpha Tessin. That's how you find me. All right. And the contract killers, Jay. You find me at XJMan4X on YouTube. And Kaiser, you don't have a YouTube channel. I've, I've still got the channel. I'm deciding what I want to put on it. I need to get some recording equipment. Either way, it's still Kaiser0777, all one word. Or you can obviously find me on this podcast. <laughs> obviously, yeah. Obviously. We are available on obviously. iTunes now. So you can just go to iTunes, search DCO Project, 
uh, should come up. Subscribe. Um, well, until then, uh, thanks for listening, and we will uh, catch you on episode three. Peace. Yep. Peace out, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Have a question or comment about the podcast? Maybe you'd like to be a guest on the show. Please drop us a line at the DCUO project at gmail.com. We're always happy to hear from you. And thanks for listening. <laughs>